everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today I'm bringing you another Dollar Tree haul small one not too big but some you know pretty interesting items some are repurchased some are new here we go we're gonna jump right on in I'm um, in no particular order I'm gonna start with the kitchen or food uh, stuff I did find these little storage bins that are veggie storage okay I have some that I have purchased on Amazon that are quite pricey and they're quite small sometimes I need a, a you know an extra one so I said you know what let me try this and for a dollar and what it is let's see if I can open this it's a little container and it has a little basket you put your berries or whatever veggies or, or fruit you want to put in there like strawberries at, or blueberries drop them in there and this way they stay out of condensation or water and it's supposed to make them last longer so I will give you an update on these after I test them out for a little while. I got two of these. These have been around for just a little bit. The fried onions, they're very tasty. They're very equivalent to the other ones that we buy, the typical ones. So I think it's the French's onions, you know, the ones you use on the casserole, green bean casserole. This is the same thing, except this is $1.00. So these are good for sandwiches. It reads in the back, great for burger toppers, casserole, salad sandwiches, and more. And they're very good, I have tried. Okay, the next item are the sun-dried tomatoes. If these have been around for a little bit, just like the onions, if you feel the tomatoes, they're very nice and plump, and more, you can tell that they're, they're good. And this is good up until March of 2022. So this is a good stock item. If you like to use them for salads or uh, casseroles or whatever, they're delicious. And they are just sun-dried tomato hat. Okay. And the next item is the uh, Goya Cubitos en Polvo. This is chicken seasoning or chicken flavoring, that like a broth, a bouillon. You can use this for soups, for casseroles, for just about anything. And this is always a repurchase for me. I normally get it at my local grocer, but I was already at the Dollar Tree, so I just picked it up. Okay, next is my office type stuff. I needed a three-hole punch because I am getting a recipe book together, so I needed something that I can print, and I needed the three-hole punch. I'll let y'all know if this works well or not. It is by Jot, a repurchase for me. I use the clips, the duck clips, in the kitchen, in the office, all over the household. These things come in so handy for a lot of things. So this is a repurchase. And then I found two list pads the first one is a real cute one that has vegetables and fruits and it reads ingredients up at the top really cute and it has the magnets in the back always need these the next one is some cupcakes and it says sweet on the top also has the magnets in the back these things come in so handy i go through these things like crazy so i'm always looking for list pads pretty list pads and the next thing I finally found was the Wi-Fi password for your guest to add in your guest bedroom or in your office or wherever you want to put it. It is a chalkboard style and it does come with one piece of chalk in the back. For the board, it does come with the chalk like I said, but I am going to use the chalk writer marker on it and that's why I bought that one. And this, this has been around for a little bit. Okay, and in the crafting section, these clips here if you haven't tried them, you really need to get them. They work so well on all kinds of stuff. Packages, uh, chip bags, just all kinds of stuff. They're real nice and strong. So I got two. I had been on the lookout for these. I had them in green. I don't remember where I got the green ones, but when I saw them in pink, I had to scoop them up. For some DIYs, it, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was kind of cute is this little wood tray. I know they've had these for a while. So if I a DIY with this, I will share it with you. Now that Valentine's is coming, I did pick up some tissue. The print is just hearts. And it looks like it comes with two or three sheets of the heart. Four solid, oh, it comes with four and six solid. So you get 10 pieces here and it's real pretty. Okay, and I don't know if this video is gonna go first or the other one is um, where I actually did the DIY for, the, for this box for some strawberries. So I did pick up a few of these and this was my favorite. It says, Happy Valentine's Day and it has a little truck, uh, the one we see for Christmas and with the trees, but it has the little hearts coming out. And in the back, it has the little bicycle with the, the hearts coming out of the basket in the front. The cutest thing. And all it is, it's got a, a Velcro closure and it's very cute. 
So I thought I'd scoop one of these up. I am working on some DIYs for my office. Of course, I had to scoop up some of these frames with the labels at the bottom, which are going to come in real handy for a project that I have going on. So I got, there are three by three and a half by five. I picked up three of those. Okay, and another thing I'm going to use for a DIY for my office is this arrow, wooden arrow, that has a jute rope that is stapled on the back that you can paint. These have been around for a little bit as well. And then I'm redoing my, my wash room area. So I decided to pick up one of these. I'm going to add some of these to the cabinets, the stickers. And then, of course, I'm always making baskets or cakes or something for somebody. So I picked up, it's my birthday, the sash. They have these in white, and pink, and black. But I only picked up the black one because I already had the other ones. And then for Valentine's Day DIYs, I did pick up the doilies, the pink heart doilies, the large ones. And you get 16 pieces on this. Real pretty. I love the pink color on this one. And the last thing in the crafting is I picked up some floral foams. I just use these for a whole lot of stuff that you know, floral crafting stuff. And I always like to have at least one of these around. Okay, and then the last few items in the crafting, these are new to me. I have seen the, some girls haul them. Crochet hooks. Can you believe the Dollar Tree came out with the crochet hooks in different sizes? Look at that. And we have the 4.5 millimeter, the 5 millimeter, and the 5.5 millimeter. They just come in different colors, so you know what size they are. I am getting some stuff together to make some blessing bags for the women and children's shelter here in my area. So I'm going to start collecting some project stuff to add to the blessing bags. The last thing on the in the craft department is this double-sided tape that I use for a lot of stuff. So this is a repurchase for me. Now in the beauty section, I had never seen these before in my Dollar Trees. They are a Greenbrier product. These are the headbands, the thick headbands. They are nice and thick. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to unravel it. This is going to be great so that it does not break your hair. And look at all these neutral colors. How nice are these? I can't wait to open this. I'll let y'all know how good they work, okay? And then on the same aisle, I found the elastics. And these are nice and thick. They don't look like they are going to, you know how the other ones stretch out and then you just have to keep throwing them away. These look like they're going to last really, really nice. I picked up some nail files. Again, I plan to use these for the blessing bags. So I picked up three different kinds. I'm going to put them up there for you to see. You have X's and O's, bows and arrows, and feeling dreamy. And they are from Diamond Cosmetics, and they're very nice. And you get three to a pack, so very nice for a dollar. The thing I'm kind of excited for are the Bolero products. The Bolero products have been at the Dollar Tree for a good while now, and they did come out with some of these facial wipes, calming facial wipes. And they are in the Honeycomb and Lavender I think these are going to be great. I have not tried them out yet, but I will, and I will update you on them, let you know how they work, how they feel, and the size of them. I'll keep you posted on that. They come 32 count to a pack. And on that same theme, I did find some, some facial masks, some Spa Life facial masks, Thai herbs, and botanicals with lemongrass and papaya. Now, doesn't that sound exciting and relaxing? Now, the thing about this product, guys, you get three masks for a dollar. You cannot beat that. So I got me two packs because that was all they had. So I am going to be on the lookout for more of these at another Dollar Tree. And I will let you know how good they feel after I use them. Okay, another hair product. I saw these that I had never seen before. The bottom one, the, there's three, four here that are just elastic. But this one here, let's see if I can show you, comes with little a little clasp. I don't know if you can see that. The way you use it is you just unhook it, wrap it around your hair, crimp it together. This is a great thing for somebody who has a lot of hair that you have a hard time wrapping a regular elastic on it. So you get two of those and four of the regular ones. I think these are so cute. They would make a great stocking stuffer for next Christmas. thing that I found at the Dollar Tree were these facial razors. They're great to exfoliate your face. This is a regular pickup for me. I had never seen this size at the Dollar Tree before. And these are the ones that I normally order on Amazon for a couple of dollars. But now that they have them at the Dollar Tree, you better believe I'm going to be getting them there. 
So this is a great one. I also wanted to show you ones that I got at the 99 cent store are these little tiny ones that are great for shaping your eyebrows that are tiny and these are tiny as well. But the ones to exfoliate are like the ones I got at the Dollar Tree that I really enjoy. Okay, so I thought I'd share those. Okay, and the last couple of few items that I have, they're all facial uh, serums or under eye serum from the Beauty Guru, the natural under eye serum with sea buckhorn. And this is a roller application. I had never seen this before. I'm going to try it and let you know how it works. This other one, it's the Cream de Skin Nutrients. The brand is Cream de Skin. And this is a regular pickup for me. This is an under eye roller as well. It works just fine for any time of the day. Your eyes are feeling a little tired. Rub some of this under your eyes and it, they feel really good and moist. This is a regular pick. Now, a new thing that I found from the Cream the Skin is this Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. Now, this I'm going to have to give it a try and let y'all know what I think. But they also came out with the Hyaluronic Acid 1% plus Vitamin C Serum. Again, I will have to let y'all know how these work, but you do get a whole ounce of product for a dollar. And the ingredients, I will try to list them up for you. But again, I will let y'all know how it feels after I try them. Okay, guys, and that was the last items that I picked up for you at the Dollar Tree. Let me know down below if you have tried any of these items. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about them. I will see you on the next haul. Bye.